I'll condense the brutal truths and lessons from seven years of helping hundreds of pre-meds get into their dream medical schools, programs like UCLA and UCSF. Here's how I help them become doctors. Brutally honest truth number one, don't mistake standing out. Yes, you need to stand out. And so you may think teaching is a terrible extracurricular because all the other pre-meds do it. And by that logic, maybe you should become a scuba diving instructor because that's unique. But because you truly love teaching, you become more invested than the next pre-med. You start by TAing molecular biology, but then you become the supervisor of the entire life sciences division. Now, if you're a med school ad com and you're looking for a future professor of medicine, do you want that pre-med or the scuba diver? Being unique is not the same thing as standing out. Impact stands out, not uniqueness. And the best way to get a sense of what truly stands out is to read real applications. In the description, I've linked eight full medical school applications that got into schools like UCSF, UCSD, and my own UCLA application. Brutally honest truth number two, 904-635-508. That is my UCLA ID number. I'll never forget it because for every professor and for every class, that was what I was known as. You are more than just a pre-med. You're a basketball player, a young adult book lover, a movie fanatic. Admissions can be stressful and it can force pre-meds into boxes. Don't lose what makes you, you. And even better, staying true to yourself is the best way to become competitive for medical school. If you're applying to medical school in the next year or two, you wanna make sure you only apply once. Our pre-med Catalyst students that submit their applications on time have a 100% acceptance rate. Our results are because we work so closely with students to craft their narrative. In fact, we can only take four students per month until we're full. If you'd be interested in earning full ride scholarships to Kaiser or interviewing at places like Harvard, WashU, Cornell, Mayo, then click the application cycle advising link down below now to book a free strategy call before we can't take on any more students. Brutally honest truth number three, clear, not clever. At Boston University, one ad com reads over 700 applications. And so if they can't understand your pre-med journey in 15 minutes or less, you're cooked. And the easiest way to structure your pre-med journey is to know the established pre-med archetypes. For example, in our application database, John is a community advocate. If you read my application, I follow the teaching mentorship track. And of course, there are also your researchers and your political advocates. Pre-med archetypes make it clear why you're applying to become a doctor and who you will be on campus. You will not fit perfectly into one box, but knowing the archetypes gives you a blueprint on where to start. Brutally honest truth number four, r slash pre-med rule number one, don't be an asshole. Medical school admissions is stressful. It makes people insecure and fearful. Hell, there are plenty of doctors who will tell you it's not worth it, turn back. While medicine isn't for everyone, don't lose yourself. Medical school admissions does not define your self-worth. Remember, being a doctor is a huge privilege. You use science and technology to support people and their families during the worst seasons of their life. Just this week, I was the anesthesiologist for a four-month-old baby that needed a pretty scary surgery. And bringing that kid safely back to his mother was a moment I'll never forget. There is a transfer of trust when people believe that you can take care of them or their loved one. Keep that end goal in mind and don't let the stress get to you. Brutally honest truth number five, med schools know you can become a doctor and they don't care. Harvard Med School has graduated doctors for the last 200 years. If you have a reasonable GPA, an MCAT, and most importantly, a pulse, they know they can teach you medicine. The problem is for every one seat that they have, they can find a thousand pre-meds who can become a doctor. In modern admissions, ad comms now care what kind of doctor you will become. They care about your motivations, your narrative, and the career you'll have. It's no longer enough to just have high stats and be able to get through a medical school curriculum. It's sad. Brutally honest truth number six. This is what hard feels like. You want to become a doctor, did you think that this would be hard? Of course you did. Well, you're going to send 50 emails for one shadowing opportunity and no one will respond. You'll apply to every research lab 
and no PI will want a freshman with no experience. You'll work 80 plus hours a week balancing school, your social life, your extracurriculars, your research, your exercise. And when you look on the sideline, no one is there clapping for you for every week that you survive. And this is what hard feels like. You're doing everything right. This is what it feels like to build a competitive application. And this is why most pre-meds don't do it, but you will. Those are the six brutal truths and lessons from seven years of helping pre-meds get into their dream medical schools. If you want to hear seven more, watch this video. Thanks for coming. I'll see you soon.